factor the polynomial completely. 2ax minus 2bx plus ay minus by. Now we can first look for a greatest common factor, but as we look at these terms, there is not a single value that's common to all of them. So let's try something else. Because there are four terms, I'm going to think factoring by grouping. So let's visually uh, just consider the first two terms and look for a greatest common factor, which is 2x. So factoring 2x away from the first two terms, this becomes 2x times a to give our first term, and 2x times a minus b will give the second term. Now if we visually look at our last two terms and find a greatest common factor, which is y, let's factor that out of those terms. So this becomes a plus y times a to give this a y term, and minus b to give our minus b y term. Now we've met our goal at the second step of factoring by grouping in so much that we've got a common factor of a minus b in both of our large terms here. And now we can pull that common factor out into the front. So to complete the factorization, this becomes a minus b times 2x plus y. Therefore, our completely factored form is a minus b times 2x plus y.